Today we are going to introduce our work title, Run One-Way Circular Shortest Routing to Achieve Efficient and Bounded Weighting Spin Locks. It is our pleasure to have the opportunity to share our research with you at USNIX. There is a QR code on the top of the slide that contains the original source code for reference. And I'm today's presenter, Qingsheng Lin. Let's start by discussing the background and motivations behind our research. Focusing on the lock-on-lock -lock problems on NUMA machines, in modern computing systems, shared data among tasks is typically synchronized using critical sessions to maintain data integrity. However, accessing shared data involves transferring data between different CPU cores, and the order in which tasks access the data corresponds to the sequence of data transmission across cores. This introduces challenges in terms of performance and fairness. So, for traditional NUMA systems, researchers consider a system with multiple CPU. On the aspect of multi-CPU NUMA system, the target was to minimize inter-CPU data transfer. Researchers recognize that the intercore data transfer speed is typically higher than that of the inter-CPU data. Therefore, the primary optimization goal was to minimize data transfer across sockets. To achieve this, they explored group-based algorithms. However, we found that this algorithm often presented a trade-off between fairness and performance. So moving on to single CPU NUMA systems, we encounter diverse interconnect speeds between cores. For example, the speed to transfer data from die 1 to die 0 is 577 nanoseconds while transferring data from die 1 to die 2 or die 3 takes about 630 nanoseconds. This difference in crossing boundaries incurs varying costs. Consequently, allowing threads on different cores to, uh, uh, to access shared data becomes analogous to a path planning problem, where the objective is to optimize the data transfer path and minimize the latency. In single CPU NUMA system, certain cores have a higher chance of acquiring the lock based on proximity or higher execution frequency. To ensure fairness, specific mechanisms are necessary to prevent cores from dominating the lock acquisition process. These mechanisms promote equitable resource distribution and efficient utilization among cores. Now, let's move on to the core idea of our run algorithm. Consider a scenario with five green cores attempting to enter the critical session. Initially, core one holds the lock. When core one leaves the critical session, a spin lock algorithm should find a core to enter the critical session. We formulate this problem as the traveling salesman problem, denoted TSP. In terms of minimizing handover costs, RUN solves the TSP online. Our RUN algorithm comprises three steps. The first step involves finding the shortest circular path, and this step is performed offline. It helps establish the optimal order for the subsequent steps. The second step is assigning a TSP order to each core and this step is also performed offline. By assigning the TSP order, we determine the order in which the course will participate in accessing the critical session. In step three of the run algorithm, we arrange the order of entering the critical session based on the TSP order. For example, using run, the order of the entering the critical session could be T1 to T5, T3, T6, and to T2, and to T4. In comparison, a first-in, first-out approach would have a different order from T1, T2, T3, T4, to T5, and T6. It is important to note that in this example, a thread can wait for a maximum of 31 threads, satisfying the bounded weighting properly, which incurs fairness in the worst case. In addition to RUN, we have explored the concept of offer subscription. 
Effort subscription involves allocating more tasks or threads than the available course. This can potentially improve the level of parallelism system performance, but it will also decrease the performance for a given lock on lock algorithms. For example, the lock holder could be scheduled out from by the operating system. One trivial solution for offer subtraction is to consider each thread as an entity. In this example, we insert thread 7 into the next round of TSP order. However, this approach has a drawback. Since thread 7 and thread 5 are on the same core, only one of these threads can be running at a time. As a result, when thread 1 attempts to transfer the lock to thread 5, thread 5 may be scheduled out, leading to meaningless spinning and reduce the performance. So, to address these limitations, we develop a modified version of the run algorithm for offer subscription. Instead of passing the lock to the next thread based on TSP order, we now pass the lock to the next core based on the TSP order. This means that threads on the same core will compete for the lock of that core. Using traditional spin lock algorithm like row spin lock or ticket spin lock. For example, consider thread T5 and T7 on the same core that will compete for the lock of core 12 using the chosen spin algorithm. This approach allows for effective util utilization of resources in offer subscribed scenarios while maintaining fairness and synchronization among threads. So let us take a closer look at an example of ROM PLOCK, our modified algorithm for offer subscription. Assume that T1 is running on core 7 and holds the lock. When T1 passes the lock to core 12, the thread currently running on core 12 will get the lock. Let's say T7 is that the thread currently running on core 12. As a result, the thread 7 successfully acquires the lock in the next round. And thread 4 passes the lock to core 12. Now, when the lock is released, thread 5 will be in the next thread to acquire the lock on core 12. This example demonstrates how the wrong algorithm in combination with the P-lock algorithm effectively distributes the lock among threads on the same core to prevent transferring the lock to a thread that is scheduled out. So now, let's move on to the performance evaluation of RON. We conducted micro benchmarks and Apple level benchmark to assess its effectiveness. Our evaluation platform consisted of an AMD 2990WX CPU with SMT, featuring 32 physical cores and 64 SMT cores. In our evaluation, we, comprised, uh, we compared run with existing algorithms such as shuffle lock, CPU MCS, P lock, and ticket lock. To assess, to assess the performance of these algorithms, we conduct micro benchmark. All threads will run through the while loop shown in the picture on the right. We observe that highest, higher contention leads to more threads waiting at the spin lock function. The size of the shared data accesses within the critical session, denoted by size of the shared data, impacted the access frequency and contention. Higher values of NCS corresponded to lower access frequency of shared data, indicating lower contention. So in scenario characterized by high contention and offer subscription, run demonstrates a clear advantage as depicted by the SSX representing the number of running threads and the SSY representing the number of locking times in millions per second. 
when it comes to running multiple applications concurrently on multi-core processors. It is common to assign specific cores to each application. For instance, dedicating eight cores to the database and 24 cores to the Ape server. In this scenario, RON demonstrates excellent performance when applications are executed on a subset of adjacent cores. Therefore, RON is a favor favorable option, especially when utilization more than eight cores for a single application. Can over time measure the data transmission efficiency between cores in the critical session in nanoseconds. More waiting threads provide advantages for an algorithm with scheduled spin lock. Under high load, run has the lowest handover time. The graph shows handover time on the y-axis and the average number of threads in the locks weight set on the x-axis. Run improved the performance of data transmission by arranging the enter of threads according to the TSP order. So, lock on lock time depends on algorithm complexity and the cost of atomic operations, including cache coherency protocols and operation execution. Efficient algorithms with lower complexity tend to have shorter lock on lock times. Atomic operations incur overhead due to cache coherency protocols and data execution. By carefully considering these factors, we can optimize lock on lock times for improved synchronization and shared data access performance. When contention increases, run MCS and ticket algorithm maintain fairness in terms of the coefficient of variation for the number of successfully acquiring the locks. But uncontrolled lock-on-lock -lock algorithm can lead to performance discrepancies among threads with the same function in high contention scenarios. Shuffle lock and CPU MCS show different threads have different chances of entering critical session, which depends on the die the thread located. If the frequency of thread entering critical session depends on the spin lock method, it makes it difficult for programmers to analyze the performance of a multi-thread program. We refer to this phenomenon as performance anomaly. And RON does not suffer from performance anomaly. And now let's move to the application level benchmarks. RON excels in relative operating time as shown in the left figure, outperforming other log algorithms. We also implement RON in the Linux kernel. RON demonstrates superior performance under high pressure when a micro benchmark with 64 threads continuously issues systems calls in the figure A. Additionally, RON and QSpin lock exhibit similar average performance in the execution of level DV in figure B. RON exhibit higher performance in high contention scenarios with maintaining the same performance as Q-spin lock in low contention situations. So in the conclusion, optimizing spin lock performance on multi-core processor is akin to solving the shortest path problem due to varying connection speed between cores. The existence of more powerful cores in acquiring locks necessitates the development of more effective fairness mechanism. Moreover, configura configurability enabling the utilization of adjacent core groups is as crucial as scalability. To address the oversubscription problem and prevent thread scheduling issues, consisting, considering oversubscription as multi-thread on a core share the same lock proves beneficial. This insight contributes to enhancing spin lock performance and ensuring fairness in multi-threaded systems. And thank you for your listening. <laughs>